friends, welcome to church. I hope you had an amazing time during these holidays and I'm sure it's been filled with fun, laughter and beautiful memories. But guess what? The fun doesn't have to stop here because a brand new adventure is about to begin. And what is that adventure? Ah, your guess is as good as mine. School! So in your new class, imagine getting to meet incredible new teachers who will guide you on an amazing learning journey and making awesome new friends who will share in your adventures. So get ready to jump into the new school year with big smiles and happy hearts because it's going to be a blast. So if it's your first time here, you are welcome on board. I'm so glad to have you as part of our growing family. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. If it's your birthday this week, it is time for you to stand and shout. Yeah! Let's sing you a birthday song. Have a happy birthday and a very joyful year ahead. Let us pray. Eyes closed and heads bowed. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another opportunity that you have given each and every one of us to come and learn something new at your feet. Lord, we ask, according to the scriptures that says, the entrance of your word gives light and understanding to the simple. Lord, we ask that as your word comes in today, it will illuminate, enlighten, bring light to our hearts in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for those whose birthday falls this week. We ask that you will give them something beautiful, a beautiful New Year gift that they will continue to remember even for a lifetime in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we know you have heard us, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.
Okay, so we're going to go into the verse of the month now. I hope you have your Bibles with you. In case you don't have a Bible with you yet, please quickly go get that so that we can read the verse of the month together. So our verse of the month is taken from the book of Psalms 139 verse 14 and it says, I'll praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Can we say this verse together? All right. After the count of three, we will do that together. Let's go. One, two, three. I'll praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. talk about this memory verse. The Psalms 139 verse 14 was written by David, the same shepherd boy who defeated the giant Goliath. Later, he became a king and he wrote this verse to remind us that God knows everything about us, even before we were born. So when David says, I praise you, it means he is thanking God. Fearfully and wonderfully made means that God made you very special with great care. Just like each fingerprint is unique, God made you one of a kind. So when you look in the mirror, remember that you are amazing because God made you special. And if you ever forget how special you are, think of this verse and say, Thank you, God, for making me so wonderful. Did you know that the Bible has two parts? The Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, the Old Testament has 39 books, while the New Testament has 27 books. And all together, these two parts make the 66 books of the Bible. So this month, we are going to focus on memorizing the books of the New Testament.
month, we learned that God wants us to work together to do good things that please Him. Now, just like a body has many parts that work together, each of us has different talents to help others and show God's love. Cooperation means taking turns, following rules, and helping each other. Remember the story of the four friends who brought their sick friend to Jesus? Aha! They worked together to help him, and we can do the same. So to make a difference, we need Jesus to help us to show love, to show kindness, and all the fruit of the Spirit especially when it's hard to cooperate. Have you ever made something with your hands, like a drawing or a cool Lego creation? When you finished, you probably felt really proud because you made something special and unique. Well, guess what? God made something even more amazing than anything we can create. Can you guess what it is? He made you. So today, we're going to learn about how God created the whole world everything in it from the sky to the land and all the animals within but the most amazing thing he made was people yes in the bible it says that god created us in a very special way in his image and his likeness so that means that he made each one of us unique and incredible. So we're going to go into the Bible reading once more. So we'll be reading the book of Genesis chapter 1 from verses 27 to 28. And it says, So God created human beings in his image. In the image of God, he created them. He created them male and female. God blessed them and said, Have many children and grow in number. Fill the earth and be its master. Rule over the fish in the sea and over the birds in the sky. Rule over every living thing that moves on the earth. Now, at the very beginning, before anything else existed, God was there. And then he decided to create everything. On the sixth day, God made all kinds of animals to live on the land, such as lions, elephants, and bogs. After making these animals, God created the first man and woman in his own image. He gave them a special place in the world and made them take care of all his creation. Now, I need you to try to guess what you think was God's most wonderful creation. Well, if you said people, you are absolutely correct. God's most wonderful creation was people. He made the very first man and woman and they were very special because they were made to be like him. We were created in God's image to bring him glory, to worship him and to love him and to be his friend. The first man was Adam. God made him in a very special way by forming him from the dust of the ground and breathing life into him. And Adam had three main parts, the body, the soul, and the spirit. 
Now, the body. Adam's body let him see. He let him hear. He let him touch. He let him taste. And he let him smell the world. Isn't that amazing? That we all have ears to hear, eyes to see, and our heart to beat, and a brain to think. For the soul, Adam's soul was the inside part of him. It helped him to think, to feel emotions, and to make choices, like naming all the animals and choosing to love others. Now the spirit, the most special part of Adam was his spirit, which allowed him to know God and to be close to him. When God finished making Adam, he saw that everything was very good. Adam was perfect and complete and God was very happy with his creation. God made you and that makes you incredible. You didn't just appear or come from animals. Now, the Bible says that God created the first man, Adam, in his own image, which means we're made to be like God in a special way. So, we're not here by any accident. Now, our verse of the month tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Meaning that God created us specially. He puts great care and love into making each and every one of us. Just like a beautiful painting or a perfect Lego model, you are God's special creation. God made us for a reason. To show how amazing he is. We are here to love God, to worship him, and to be his friends. So remember that you are incredibly special, made by God, for God, and he loves you very much. Being born again means starting fresh with Jesus as your friend and as your guide. God sent his son Jesus to show us how much he loves us and to save us from our sins. If you've never given your heart to Jesus, what are you waiting for? Ask Jesus to be your savior. Ask him to be the Lord of your life by saying this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me enough to die for my sins. I believe that you are the Son of God who died for my sins and rose again to lead me into eternal life. I accept you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I am born again and I am a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations! So we've learned today that God created everything in the world, but his most special creation were people who were made in his image and in his likeness. Adam, the very first person, was created with a body, soul, and spirit, showing how each of us is uniquely incredible and designed to connect with God. We are fearfully and wonderfully made and have been placed here on earth to show how amazing God is. We were created to love God, to worship him and to be his friend. So our challenge for the week is called 
my creation artwork. So what you're going to do is you make a piece of art that shows a part of the creation story from Genesis chapter one. You can choose to draw, to paint, or make a collage about the creation of animals, the creation of plants, or the creation of people. Let us pray. Dear Father, thank you for creating me in your image and likeness. Help me to always remember that you have made me uniquely special and incredible. I love you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Some people have written us to say that these teachings blessed them and would like to give an offering to God. The different ways by which you can give are now being displayed on the screen. God bless you as you give. out our pop quiz for today. Are you ready? Set. Go. At the very beginning, before anything else existed, God was there and he decided to dash everything. A. Observe everything. B. Ignore everything. C. Destroy everything. D. Create everything. The answer is D, create. At the very beginning, before anything else existed, God was there and he decided to create everything. Humans are the most special creation of God, true or false. The answer is true. Humans are the most special creation of God. According to Psalm 139 verse 14, how are we made? A. Fearfully and wonderfully. B. Commonly and simply. C. Quickly and roughly. D. Regularly and plainly. The answer is A. According to Psalm 139 verse 14, we were made fearfully and wonderfully. Adam was created with only a body and soul, but no spirit. True or false? The answer is false because Adam was created with the body, soul, and spirit. How did God describe his creation after making Adam? A, very ordinary. B, very simple. C, very good. D, very detailed. The answer is C. God described his creation after making Adam as very good. The Bible says that God made people by accident. True or false? The answer is false. 
God made people intentionally and with a special purpose. God made each of us and that makes us dash. A. Ordinary. B. Incredible. C. Usual. D. Expected. The answer is B. God made each of us and that makes us incredible. Today's Bible lesson reminds us that we are made by God for God and he loves us very dash. A. Very much. B. Very lightly. C. Very slowly. D. Very briefly. The answer is A. Today's Bible lessons reminds us that we are made by God for God and He loves us very much. What should we remember when we look in the mirror? A. That we are not special. B. That we should change how we look. C. That we are just like everyone else. D that we are amazing because God made us. The answer is D. We should remember when we look in the mirror that we are amazing because God made us. What is our memory verse for the month? A, Psalm 23 verse one. B, Ecclesiastes, 4 verse 9. C. Psalm 139 verse 14. D. John 3 16. The answer is C. Psalm 139 verse 14. And it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful and I know that full well. Keep in mind that you can watch all these teachings over and over again. Till I see you again soon. Remember that you are incredible and special. You were made by God, for God, and He loves you very much. I love you and God loves you more. Bye.